Hey guys, isn't it funny how, you know, how food works? Some, there are some foods, you know, other cultures when they see, they're like, ew, yeah, I will never eat that. And then, then some other cultures also have been, well, also have food. The same people that be like, I will never eat that, they will also have some weird food. Well, guess what? We also have that weird food. We have white ants. We, in my language, Lumadikonga in Arabic is Momo. And some people used to make fun of it, they call it Duban, you know, the same as Equatorians, they like to eat Duban. But um, that's like one of the favorite delicious dish that, you know, we only have this dish seasonal. So it's not like we're having it all year round, but this, this is something that comes seasonal. And um, yeah. Uh, it comes through like a hill. I don't know how to call that hill. But yeah, we would go in the night. So it comes during rain season. So when it rains in the evening, we would go to this hill and we would go and, you know, dig uh, kind of like a hole so that when, when these white ants are coming, you can just use the broom to sweep them to that hole and then you sweep them to your pots because they come with wings, right? So you just be sweeping them to your pots. So we used to go and hunt these things. But I posted a video today of how it's made so you have like so many ways to cook it you could either just like you know take the skin out wash it so that because it's sand right because in the morning early in the morning we would also go and pick they'll be walking in pairs we would pick these things up and yeah so yeah it is funny because some people are like eh, this is our sister's food and to me i'm like yeah this is this is the food this is meat it is meat, but anyways, it just shows that every country has a creepy food, whether we like it or not. So some people eat weird food, so I have to kind of, my blender is always acting up. So my blender is always acting up, I have to like tight, make it sure it's tight, if it's not tight, it won't work. So anyways, I have in here mango and banana and my complete protein shake. That's what I have in here. I haven't eaten since morning but anyways yeah bottom line is that every country has creepy food whether we like it or not we always have food that some some people won't eat and then some also there's some food in that country that we won't eat so yeah i miss ngongo it's been how many years the last time i ate ngongo was since we came to canada we brought some dry ones that was 2008 so i have not tried ngongo in 15 years going to 16 years so i don't know what it will feel like when i go home and um and eat them i don't know what my reaction is gonna be like we will figure out when I, one day when i go to africa and i want to try it and see if i will have 